Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another record to play for you. Today record is Aqua Man, The Defeat of the Dehydrator for 1975. So let's get started. Hey Jim, what time's the supply ship due in? Our food supply's getting pretty low and it'll be dark soon. It's overdue already. Overdue? Boy, there must be a better way of making a living than running a lighthouse on an island in the middle of nowhere. Whenever folks on shore need anything, they hop down the corner store and get it. <laughs> but out here, you gotta sit around and wait and wait and wait. Hold it, Pete. There's a message coming in on the radio. Yeah, same old story, I suppose. Supply ship delayed until tomorrow. Shh, quiet. Good Lord. The supply ship has disappeared. Disappeared? On a day like this? Not a cloud in the sky. Not a white cap. The report said that the Coast Guard got an SOS a few hours ago. A sudden violent storm kicked up. And the ship was going up. Going down, you mean? No, no, it said going up. But the ship's radio cut off at that point. Maybe they meant it caught fire and she was going up in flames. Flames? We would have seen flames. But that reminds me. Remember the Aurora Borealis last night and the night before? And unusually bright for the northern lights this time of year. And strange how they look like a, like a curtain of light dropping from the clouds to the ocean in just a small area. Northern lights usually seem to fill a whole part of the sky. Wonder if they affect the weather. Talk about the devil. Look out there. The lights again. And am I seeing things, or is that a wall of water going up from the ocean to the sky like an illuminated fountain in reverse? You're not seeing things, Jim. That's just what it is. Aquaman! Hi, Jim. Pete. And Mara. What are the king and queen of Atlantis doing out here? We've been studying those mysterious lights and their effect on the water for some time now. And frankly, we're worried. What if that curtain of light is in reality a sort of magnetic siphon controlled by intelligent beings from outer space? Intelligent beings from some water-starved planet who, like ourselves, need water to survive. And who have worked out a method of draining the ocean to provide life-giving water for their own planet. Congratulations, Aquaman. Excellent reasoning for a mere earthling, I must say. And who are you and what are you doing here? I am Hydro, the dehydrator from the planet Exodum. I have come to warn you, Aquaman, to remove all living things from the oceans of Earth. Well, without water, they would die. That is your problem. I am just trying to be what you would call humanitarian. In any case, within 24 hours, all the oceans of your Earth will be siphoned off to my planet. Within 24 hours? That's impossible. Oh, is it now? Look carefully at that curtain of light. Can you see that spaceship at the top? When I return there, I shall pull a switch which will activate the full power of our electromagnetic gravity intensifier. Magnetic gravity intensifier? That explains the wall of water rising out of the sea. Precisely. But what you see is only a small demonstration of its power, similar to the one earlier in the day in which the supply ship for this lighthouse was unfortunately caught up. You murderer. We wish Earth people no harm, but the people of Exodum must have your ocean. You have been warned. Farewell. He's gone. What are we going to do, Aquaman? Without water, not only everything in the sea will die, but so will every living thing on land. We've got to stop Hydro before he pulls that switch. Come on, Mira. We're going to swim out to that curtain of light. Here we are, and there's the spaceship, way up there. Aquaman, we're being pulled up with the water. Just what I figured. We'll ride the water right up to the spaceship. Oh, there it is. And there's the airlock. Hang on to me now, and we're in. Aquaman, how did you... Never mind that. Quick, Mira, jam that switch. Got it. Curse you both. But you will pay for this. The automatic controls on the spaceship have been activated, and we are already on our way back to the planet Exodome. Aquaman, he's right. We're moving up. No, we've stopped. We're going down. Right. Look out that window. It's Topo, our pet octopus, and a whole army of giant squid. 
They're pulling the ship down with their huge eyes. How did they get up here? I sent a telepathic command to Topo to get his friends, the giant squids, and ride the wall of water up to the spaceship. The way we got up here. And pull it down to the sea where we shall turn you, Hydro, over to the authorities on land. This was Exodoom's last hope. I have failed my people, and now they are truly doomed. But life on Earth has been saved thanks to you, Aquaman. And to you, my beautiful queen. So that was Aquaman, the defeat of the uh, the Hydrator from 1975. So please like, subscribe, please like, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff. And we'll have another video coming out real soon.